All right, folks. Roy Free Senior back today. Uh, I want to cover forgotten, abandoned, and unusual exercises. Now, little disclaimer. Um, there are still some folks out there that still do some of these, or even a lot of these exercises. For example, my friend James Fuller of Strongman Archaeology, um, the All Around Weightlifting Association still does a, a lot of these lifts, even in competition to this day. And James demonstrates them on YouTube pretty much on a daily basis. He's a strong guy, he's a good guy, you should follow his channel. All that said, so all of these exercises, I could have found more, but it was enough to make a pretty long video, are from uh, Sandow's book, which goes way back to the turn of the century. And then um, the next one is from Hoffman. And uh, pretty much the manual that you would get back in the day when you would buy a Hoffman weight set. It would be, you know, the program that he, um, he didn't have to use, obviously, but it was suggested stuff to use with his weights. Um, and, and most of these have descriptions along with the pictures of exactly what you're expected to do with the exercise. So it's going to be largely self-explanatory, follow the pictures. Uh, if anything goes by too fast, you can always pause something, you know, do a screen print, whatever, copy it if you need to. Um, a lot of, not a lot, but a fair amount of kettlebell stuff. And, and, you know, there was a, and there's still people that are you know, very kettlebell oriented. Nothing wrong with kettlebells. I've had them. They have them at the gym. They're, they're great tools. I just would never, you know, consider using them exclusively. Uh, although they certainly have their place in a gym, in your home gym, whatever. Um, a lot of these exercises, there, and there's a number of exercises that I didn't put here, just for the fact that it's doing kind of a normal exercise that you would know, but doing it with one hand. Uh, now, there was some people that did a lot of that, like uh, Herman Garner, Garner uh, had a world record deadlift. Uh, I think he deadlifted he one hand's like 700 and something. And he was a tremendous, tremendous all-around strong guy. And also with kettlebells, he did, he had like a big rack of dumbbells and a big rack of kettlebells. And one of the things he did, he would go kind of go down the line on both. He would just work his way from the lightest to the heaviest, or somewhere in there, with the dumbbells and with the kettlebells. He liked to train outside a lot, too. And uh, some of these exercises, I'm not endorsing necessarily any of these exercises. Some of them are a little crazy. I'm 63 and I have arthritis, and I've had some injuries over the years. So there's some of these things that I just would not consider doing. So consider those, you know. Uh, but again, James does some of this stuff. Like this one, uh, the roll up and press behind the back. I can't even imagine. I could never do that if I wanted to. I, I just don't have the flexibility. He does, and he does it very well. Uh, but again, that's something that I just would not even consider trying. Um some of these are just shown for historic, history's sake, and uh, some of them are certainly legitimate exercises that you just don't really see people doing much. It might be worth, you know, giving a try, put it, check it out, uh, you know, try it once or twice, see if you want to put it in your program. Um, yeah, and some of them, like, and I've even done videos on the straddle lift, a.k.a. the Jefferson lift. That is a good uh, quad exercise. It's a good deadlift assistance exercise. It's just a good all-around exercise. And again, you don't see a lot of people doing that in the gym these days. Um, and there, you know, some of these lifts are just kind of versions of, um, of more normal lifts that you see, but the particular version, like, like the, uh, two-handed high pull-up, uh, it's kind of like an upright row, but just taken all the way up top. Uh, I don't see that. And, and it's that's also similar to um, uh, a high pull, which is 
football players always do that, um, where you just is, you're starting out as if you're going to do a deadlift, but your hands are overhand grip, and you just uh, pull it up to your sternum, and that's it. That's that's the lift, and that's a very good lift. So, uh, and there's a couple variations of uh, of high pulls and deadlifts like that here. One last thing is like an Olympic lift, which I don't really, I've never really tried that. Um, but that's not really a crazy one. It probably doesn't require that much coordination. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing and stick around. Catch you next time. Thanks.